epic intro music. Hello, Pale Wolves, Lurkin Pictus here, and this is Neo 2. Just came out on Friday, Friday the 13th. I was so ill, still feeling pretty rough, and it is now 4.30 a.m. Saturday morning, and I've just woken up. <laughs> but finally, we have Neo 2. Been waiting so long for this. Oh my god, it's so good! I'm like the Peter Griffin thing right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> but honestly, if you could have seen my face right there, wow. I am just so into it. And I just want to just quickly say, the reason why I was talking about being ill earlier is because if the commentary doesn't sound quite right, that is just because I am ill as shit. You've seen the selfies. I've ruined my entire rep. Um, if you've got me on Twitter. If not, definitely follow me on Twitter. Uh, link's in the description below. But while I'm saying follow me on Twitter, you might as well like the video, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever a new video drops because I'm now going to be playing a lot of Neo 2. And subscribe. Oh my god. It's going to be so good. I love Koei Tecmo too. The Sengoku Jedi, everything. The Sengoku Jedi is definitely in my top five historical time frames. It's certainly not number one, but it could be number three. Let's go. Neo 2. I had Resident Evil in my mind. But yeah, if I say any, if I sound like crazier than usual, just blame the fever. <laughs> I put a poll on Twitter, and they ha they said it wasn't the corona. They've gone for the T virus. So, let's go. Once upon a time, a giant man. Appeared in a distant village. The villagers welcomed him with joy, believing he brought blessings from the spirit world. However, as time went by, they began to fear him. Tormented by the villagers, he began to attack them. Until he came to be dubbed. One of the village youths decided to make a stand. He gathered a multitude of golden stones, forging them into a blade that gleamed with an otherworldly light. With this mysterious blade, the invincible demon was cut down.
live on, my child. Me, strong. Ah, oh, you have gone big, have you not? I just can't wait to see how our child turns out. <laughs> All I know is that there will be no limit to their potential. Okay, so here we got the character creation screen, and honestly, I already think the characters look absolutely amazing. They look beautiful. I retweeted Silica AMV's character that she created. She said she spent like 40 minutes in the character creation, and the character just looked beautiful. It looked incredible. So I can't wait to have a quick look at this. We'll go with a guy. If it's um, a girl, I'm sure she will be beautiful, just like you. Okay, so the women do look good. Well, we'll see. <laughs> that one looks like Solid Snake. <laughs> that one looks a bit Viking. The Viking preset is tempting. Ooh, look at this! Look at that! It's honestly making me want to have a look at the preset women, to be honest. My god, they look amazing. They all look really good. That one looks Viking. Honestly, look at this one! Honestly, the characters are looking stunning. Ah, I hope their eyes will be just like yours. <laughs> you know how I love your eyes. <laughs> oh no. I hope our child has eyes as beautiful as yours. God, there's so much that you can do. Should we get big eyes? Yeah, so I wanted to try and go for the hazel eye colour, which is a bit hard, because it's got brown with green in it, so I've gone for that. Now, we don't need accessories, um... <laughs> but they do look good, um... All I want is for our child to grow up without knowing trouble or strife. What? I pray that they will be a hero on the battlefield. I can't wait for the day I get to brush my child's hair. <laughs> if they're anything like their father, they won't want to sit still for you. So, what's the closest to my hair? Probably shaved sides, but with longer hair. Oh, you can even make the hair shorter, that is really cool. Can we, like, do this hair and then... Oh yeah, we can change the back as well, that is cool. Okay, so the biggest beard is a little bit disappointing. Come on, we're gonna go full curliness. That's crazy, you can click into curliness and change the type of curliness. Uh, we wanna try and make it red, obviously. I was gonna say... Is that my colour? I mean, a bit short, but... Oh, one day soon. I'll have to teach them all about makeup. <laughs> okay, so we've got the perfect it's beard. To look one's best on the battlefield. Eyeliner. <laughs> tooth paint. You can paint your teeth. Face paint! No, we're not having that either. Um, <laughs> if we have a son, I will raise him to be strong. <laughs> Let's go There's 12. Of time for that. Oh, wow, well, look. So, muscle definition, that is apparently zero muscle definition. So we're just gonna go with that. Tattoos, well we don't want a, I don't want a huge one on the front. Could go with a small tattoo. Yeah, let's go with that, just for a small one. Okay, so horn type. I think I either want this second one, or this sixth one for the yokai form. I think I want this crazy one for number six. A bit kind of Lubu-esque. Now we can go for crazy hair with the yokai form. Let's go for like this one, like crazy yokai form hair. Oh wow, that's good. So for this one, we can pick something different. I like that honestly. And I do like that crazy hair for this one. Phantom, look at that, look at that. Honestly, I like the first one. <laughs> we'll at least change the hair colour. I think that's too bright though, actually. Honestly, that one looks quite like mine. <laughs> if I take the sides off. I've got a uh, photo on Instagram where it looks kind of like that. 
It's not long enough for the rest. I quite like the original one, though. The original one's still pretty good. Okay, so for this... <laughs> okay, so it took me forever, but I'm gonna go for this crazy hairstyle. I quite like this one um, as well, because I do have to tie mine up at the moment. And obviously I've gone for the crazy ass beard. That's actually the, um, the biggest one that you can have. And I made it bright orange. And I also put the ginger highlights in my hair because my hair's not actually ginger, but it does kind of go, it does have a sort of red hint to it. So I think I've got the color perfect as well. My beard's probably a little bit darker than that, but oh well, <laughs> we want to exaggerate it, I guess. So this is the fella we're going for. And the yokai's um, look, bloody crazy as well. Look at these fellas. <laughs> okay, so let's go. I spent too long there. Grow up to be strong, won't you? And look, you can show the yokai form by holding R2. That is really nice. That is really nice. Look at that. Okay, so perfect. And look how beautiful the game looks already. So, now we're just gonna do what the game wants us to do. <laughs> oh god, I'm having too much fun just kind of not doing the right thing. The objective shown on the compass. Okay, so yeah, you can read. So let's have a look, what's, what have we got here? The first item we pick up is just Amrita. Amrita ta ta. He lives off Amrita. Um, it's basically what you buy everything with in the game. It's what you level up with. So basically, sort of like Bloodborne. You gain XP, and you level up, and then you lose it if you die. That's basically Amrita in this. So we're taking all that good stuff. Um, so to run, we hold X. Okay, so now we can interact with all this. So I guess we're picking our weapon. So do we choose the hatchet? Don't like the sound of that. The Kursarigama, which is um, one of those really cool sort of... Um, I don't have to explain it. Kind of like chain and sickle type thing. And the switch glaive, cool, but we're not deaf. Now the dual swords is a nice one. The Odachi could be our choice because we do like a good samurai. Then I'm guessing there's the typical katana sword. Spear is interesting because I find spear combat is usually reasonably difficult. Um, Choose the axe or the tonfa. The tonfas are cool, honestly. I feel the axe is a bit too big. I don't fancy the axe, really. I fancy having one large weapon and one more sort of ninja -y weapon. So maybe the kurisigama or the tonfas. Because I think choosing the sword is probably a little bit boring. Let's go. I do want the odachi, though. I want the tonfas. I'm feeling the tonfas, to be honest. Um, what do they give you? Courage plus one. I'm hoping we get two lots. Let's choose the Tonfa. Can we choose the Odachi as well as the Tonfa? But that does look goddamn cool, doesn't it? See, that is cool. That's what I mean by the sort of sickle chain thing. I'm leaning towards this now. I can't decide. But I'm feeling that for the speed, to be honest. That feels good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm going... I've it's, it's taken me forever because I want to try everything. But I'm going Tonfas and Odachi. I like these emojis. That's always fun. <laughs> right, so um, let's continue. Proceed to the Guardian Spirit Selection. Uh, hell yeah, I don't want to change my weapon. Oh yes, look at this. We only get a choice of three, do we? What have we got here? The swift bird. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, s I couldn't tell it was a bird at first. That one looks like the way to go, because obviously we're going to go painted wolves. Um, the dark phantasm. A fish. And obviously, we're going... We are the painted wolves. We are going with the wolf. Look at that badass, right? Should we have a look at the others or do you reckon they all look the s- Oh wow, 
they all look completely different. And then you've got the, the yeah. That is badass. But this one flies. But we're going painted walls. <laughs> Also, you could have a look, because this one's got a heavy weapon, look. So, you could even pick two light weapons, so that when he goes into the wolf form, he gets a heavy weapon, because they've got, like, trishulas or whatever. And this one has sort of medium, more sort of ranged weapon. We're going more just, let's F them up type style. We're not playing range like in God of War. So let's go. We got strength plus two, courage plus one. Um, leave this place. Those were the blue eyes of Odin's descendants. Okay, so we got a cool map like on the other game. Fantastic, I love it. So we have starting point, and we have the first mission, the village of the cursed blossoms. The shrine looks the same, that's good. So you level up here with Amrata, and these are your stats basically, but we don't have any, but that's roughly how it looks. And you can change your guardian spirits um, if you want. But we've got the Makami, because the Makami is the coolest one. Uh, but you just you will pick up loads of them. We can remodel the huts, look. So yeah, we'll have the Makami sitting with us, because why would we not have the Makami sitting with us, you know? So the wolf guardian spirits, also known as Uguchi no Makami, are said to be the servants of the mountain gods. Mountain wolves were seen as the embodiment of fear and awe men felt towards the mountains, the domain of the gods that were unable to complain for unable to claim for themselves i said complain however they were also worshipped as protected spirits for they hunted the vermin that could harm crops and were also believed to ward off fires as servants of the gods of volcanoes it was only fitting that they had the ability to manipulate fire and protect against it and the tale of neo we can we can go through a little bit of the the law. As war ravaged the land, yokai are running rampant. The protagonist, who has inherited both human and yokai blood, as well as possessing an immortal soul, makes a stand against the rampaging yokai. Joining forces with various allies and guardian spirits, he is about to embark on a journey through turbulent times. Turbulent times. A gentle voice tells the tale of youth who once slayed demons in ancient times, but as the protagonist listens to his mother's story, her words turn into a terrible scream. A mysterious man with a staff has struck her down, giving her only, giving her time only to entrust her son with a glowing dagger. Night after night, the protagonist relives this horrific scene in his dreams. The protagonist wakes to a frantic banging on his door and hears the desperate voice of a villager begging him for help. Gripping his dagger, he goes to investigate. No sooner does he open the door than a yokai comes charging towards him. The protagonist slays it in a flash and after watching the panicked villager running away, turns to see the mysterious letter has appeared in his room. So that is just what we've just watched. So equipment sets. So this is fantastic, actually. We can change Guardian Spirit and have different weapons 
as we continue because you get this many equipment it's like different classes so basically that's fantastic because we can basically use every weapon and this just can be our first character sort of thing um very cool there's so much you can customize you can customize all the move sets and everything so i think we just want to we've been probably recording for a ton of time but we want to just get on with it now so there's seven kadama to find um and the reward is a longbow four sacred arrows three high quality leather platelets and a red spider lily whatever that is but yeah the recommended level is one and it's got a two difficulty thing look out of five I wait under the night cherry blossoms for the hero that will set our village free from these horrors that plague us. It seems that this message is from someone that heard whispers of my work slaying yokai. There are no hints as to who sent it, but it appears to have come from a village called Juzang Sakura. If there really are yokai there, then it might be worth heading that way to take a look. The maelstrom of war knows no bounds, and either Jusan Kasura, a village once prosperous due to its abundant supply of post horses and work cattle, could not escape the chaos. Before long, it was reduced to little more than a ghost town. Now, only yokai wander the deserted ruined village. The springtime cherry blossoms once enjoyed by the lively villagers as they went about their daily business now bloom among the deafening silence of the long departed. And. We have begun the game in March 1555, the 16th century. You sent Sakura something province. I missed it because I was too excited. So let's start with a big ass weapon. And then if we could encounter any trouble, um, we can switch to the Tonfers because I've got a feeling I'll be a bit more skillful with the Tonfers. Bring it on. Bring. It. On. Let's go. So basically, you pick up the Amrita like this. It's just an example here. Should you seek comfort in your sorrow, you would be wise to head to the nearby shrine. And look, this has dropped a small spirit stone. So you take that, and then you can use the spirit stones as well. But if you use it, you receive 100 Amrita. So you don't want to just use them as soon as you get them. You want to save them because um, basically when you use enough Amrita you can power up and do some special move. It will fill the little badge up at the top left and then once you get it full you can basically do a sort of rage thing with the yokai. Um, and also when you use the Amrita you can't get it back if you die so you don't want to use those shards at the start. But you find one of these shrines, and these, these are where the game saves. So basically, it's letting me level up um, already. So let's just upgrade the constitution then to give us a bit more health. Basically, when you use one of the shrines, um, in the first game at least, all of the enemies respawn. It's basically like resetting the level because you can level up. Um, so you don't want to use a shrine unless you absolutely have to. Because um, I like trying to kill absolutely everything on the stage. So basically when you get to a shrine it does save the game but everything you've already killed will respawn. So you just make sure you don't want to travel back where you've came because it will make it hell. Unless you want to kill everything else again. Okay. So I didn't know you could, uh, so I've already died. <laughs> I didn't know, didn't know you could just jump off that. All the Amrita that is required to level up will be lost when you die, but if you die possessed by a guardian spirit, you will leave behind a grave from which you can retrieve your lost Amrita by touching it. So I've got it back. Um, so I've got the uh, lost Amrita back, but luckily we only had 125 anyway, so that showed you my death, my first death. I'm not too sure because we only had the red ones in the other games. Basically, you can summon the Revenant and their sort of other players' characters and then you can fight them for the rewards. This guy is level 2, so we could possibly try and fight this guy. So you can summon the one, the red ones that to fight. Um... Yep. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so he he killed me proper good. Beaten to death by a revenant. 
Okay, so the first enemy we encountered killed us. So I'm going to try that again. Oh, shit! So I want to target him, do a couple of light attacks, and then jump back. Ooh, ooh, okay. So we killed him that time. So we got in a Choco Cup, a uh, Lone Wolf Gauntlet. We got two cups look, from that. Now we have got one of those cups, we could see what these actually do. Oh, they actually require three cups to summon one of them. What about the low level one? No, so the low level one only requires two cups to summon. So we'll pick up the Amrita. I should have trained more. And a stone. Think oh look! Can defeat me. Just try it. There's a little enemy there, look. Should we summon this? We It looks like they just kind of follow you around. Um, but obviously it's the first time playing the game, so... But she looks pretty good though, look at that. So it turns out these blue ones are just friendly revenants to summon, which is really cool. So let's go and try her out on the first enemy. So we've got to see how she does against him. Oh! It's nice to see what sort of moves he has. Just kind of let her do the work. <laughs> I'll help. Okay. That is very nice. I like that. I like that a lot. A shameful defeat. How could I have been so careless? <laughs> I'm going to use the health. Um, and let's try and kill this Revenant. Because we can, we can kite him. Because while she's attacking him, it makes him very vulnerable. Oh, shit. Oh! Nice, though. Nice. So, look, we can take cups every time we beat one. Okay. So that does not look worth fighting right now. <laughs> oh my god, I mean look at that. We're still learning and we've got to fight that thing. So we'll level up the heart now. And now we need 1000 Amrita for the next level, look. So already, look, we've unlocked better, um, better armor. It puts the defense up, but it does put the toughness down, look. That's weird how it puts the toughness down that much, though. We can't seem to use head armor yet, either. Oh, we can. We just what didn't have any on. We've got a skill point as well, actually. So, the first time I'm using this skill points... Um, hmm. Oh, shit. I didn't even know. I just bought that. I didn't even know I did. So, we've got to try and fight this thing. Okay, he's definitely... Okay, so I didn't... Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ah. Well, that was fantastic, wasn't it? Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.